live. I want you to meet Klaus. He's a 29-year-old fitness enthusiast. He loves working out. He's been doing it for five years, but he has a problem. His problem is he's reached a physical and strength plateau, and he wants to get to the next level by being mentored, guided, and coached. He also has the problem of finding the right coach, or perhaps a team of coaches who can take him to that level. I want you to meet Larissa. She's a coach who has about 10 years experience, and she's willing to help Slav, but she spends way too much time way using different client management solutions to put together uh, uh, and manage her existing clients. She also has another problem. She needs uh, help with coaching. And, and, and she wants to be able to focus on that. She spends way too much time on marketing, and she doesn't like that. We are here to present to you Lyft. Lyft is a matchmaking platform that connects fitness and nutrition coaches with fitness enthusiasts. We provide administration and client management software, as well as tracking of users' progress. We've built a prototype in the last two days, and we are here to show you a glimpse of it. As a user, you can go through and fill out a very careful set of questions and be entered into a matchmaking type scenario. As a coach, you are vetted very rigorously and you now have access to all your clients, you have access to all their progress and you can see their, uh, their progress as well as be able to schedule new and, and reschedule existing phone calls. This is a massive industry. We're talking about a $22 billion industry with just a health club alone. We're going after approximately 660 million members of this industry and approximately hundreds of thousands of uh, coaches. And we're also going to look at the fitness studios who have access to the coaches and to their members. We're going after just 1% of this industry and we plan to leverage the fitness studios to find more coaches and find more existing users. There is a lot of competition. We're talking about apps who have resources, who have money, so why are we different? We plan to be the first matchmaking platform that carefully curates the individual needs and selects the, the partnerships based on an intuitive approach as well as data-driven approach. We plan to roll this out in two stages. The first six months, we're gonna give away the platform for free. We want people to use it, we want people to sign up for it, we want to be able to test the idea, test the features, test our business model. Afterwards, we're going to offer a three-tier plan for our coaches. If you have upwards of three clients, you can get started with a very basic starter monthly retainer. You can always try the platform for 30 days. And if you don't like it, feel free to explore. We're going to go big. We're going to go upwards of, we're going to collect upwards of 25,000 coaches, we're going to get them interested, and we're going to get them to use our platform. We're also going to go after approximately half a million users to support those coaches. And lastly, we plan to make a revenue of $1.2 million in year five. But we need your help. We've got a great team, we've got a lot of motivation, but we need resources and we need money. Lift your fitness game with the best coaches. Great energy, um, great presentation. The, the one thing I would think about is leave perhaps the, the clubs and kind of the fitness studios out of the whole equation, go after independent coaches, right? Uh, I think it's really hard to catch up on kind of business management tools that the existing clubs are already using. So it's like this is like two, three years of development work. Yeah. Go after the long tail, independent coaches, and, and look what, what they're using right now. And probably they, they, they're not losing much besides kind of you know, the, the, the Gmails and Google Calendar, et cetera. So that might be a really good opportunity there. You're absolutely right. That's going to make it more challenging to start with. We're going to do direct marketing. We're going to do viral campaigns to get the coaches, the users on platform. But uh, we, we see uh, partnerships as a means to access a bigger clientele. So it's, it's, it's an opportunity we're considering, but we're going to focus on the individual coaches themselves. Great. Um, question about your business model and, and pricing. Have yes. you validated it with the coaches? Because I know a lot of great coaches um, who are fantastic people, and they're not, you know, they're working their butt off yes. to make not a ton of money. Yes. Like, what, what was the reaction to the price for them to pay? Right, 
So we validated this, the pricing structure with five coaches. We validated the pricing structure with 10 users. Users are willing to pay upwards of $100 per hour to get mentored by a coach. A coach is willing to spend his or her time to mentor as many clients as, as, as he or she can. And what we find is that the pricing structure, which reflects on the lower tier of $30 a month, is very, very affordable for both the coach and, if, like I said before, they have a 30-day trial. If they don't like it, they can always get their money back and, and stop using the product. So the incentive for coaches to join and uh, continue and pay, um, that, that was one of the things I thought. The, uh, who's, who's getting all the coaches? Who, is there a rating? How, are, you good? are you thinking of this? Yes, so what we're envisioning here is a lift consultant, a matchmaker that connects both the coach's needs and the user's needs. They, they carefully vet each coach based on references. So you have uh, being able to look at, to specify who your friends are, if you're a coach, who your workers are, who your clients are, who other coaches are. That process is, is used to vet the coach. That's massive, and logistically. Yes. That's a great point. So that's the first start. That's how we're going to be able to get off the ground, being, being relying on the top vet coaches. That's an intuitive approach. That's a human approach. We're going to add to that a data-driven approach where we're going to use uh, basically mass aggregated uh, uh, scraping tools. We're going to be able to rely on uh, social connections of those individuals to better decide who the, the coaches who say who they are. The whole uh matchmaking part of this sounds pretty challenging, right? You have the chicken and the egg problem where how are you going to get enough coaches? How are you going to get enough like, people to participate? Um, I might consider dropping that all together for just the coach management software. That seems like a much easier entry into the market uh, without dealing with all the complicated two-sided marketplace challenges that you get from doing All right. That. Sorry to cut you off quick there, but Thank we you. are at the end.